Shalom, shalom. Man, today I'm talking to you about reasonable living while everybody claims that everything is so expensive. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches. Man, I love eating good food, you know, whether it be hamburgers, whether it be going to get a, a, a nice fish plate at a restaurant, some salmon, uh, some steak. I enjoy doing it. But I want you to think, man, we're living in a very tough time for society where people are financially struggling. I want you to think about this. You know, if I were to go to a seafood place and get a, a, a plate of flounder, you see this is what I got cooking right there, some flounder. You know, for a piece of flounder, a baked potato, and some coleslaw, you know, I'm looking at 20 bucks minimum, okay? When I can go get, you know, probably about four pounds worth of flounder from the grocery store and cook it myself and get a lot more meals off of it. And I know what, it's, what I'm actually cooking and I know uh, what's going into the process. Another one is, man, a lot of people are saying that they're struggling financially, but you got to look at their spending habits. There's no way in this daytime and hour I'm going to five guys where one meal for one person is easy can be $22 at minimum. And if I take a family of four or five there, we're spending 100 bucks on hamburgers and fries and soda. No way. Man, I'm going to get me a whole bunch of ground beef. I'm going to get that griddle out, and I'm going to make homemade smash burgers. I'm going to toast the bun. We're going to be living it up. We're going to throw some fries in the air fryer. We're going to be eating good in the neighborhood. Man, you do not have to go broke trying to keep up with all this stuff. There's always a better way to do it. You see what I'm saying? You know, for going to Five Guys, spending $100 for my family, okay, a family of five, Man, I can go get ground beef. I can go get brioche bun. If one child wants mozzarella, the other one wants cheddar. You know, get the lettuce, get the tomato, and have enough ground beef to cook 50 hamburgers for what the price of five guys is going to charge you. So you have to start thinking wise, thinking with wisdom, you know, being prudent, okay? How can you better use your resources? I'm not going to buy no fish plate. Uh, for no 20, 30 some dollars for a little bit of coleslaw, a little baked potato with sour cream and butter in it when I can whip up my own stuff right here just the way I like it. So think about that, man. When you hear people complaining about money, look at what they spend their money on. Think about that. You know, uh, coffee is a lot cheaper. Drinking coffee, making it yourself. Let me show you this coffee pot right here. That's a lot cheaper than buying doggone energy drinks every day. But some people buy energy drinks, drink two or three of them, you know? So you got to start thinking during these times, how are you going to survive it? It's not that I don't have the money to go to Five Guys. It's not that I don't have the money to go eat at a nice seafood restaurant. No, I know money could be spent. I know the money could go to uh, better things and, and things that we need on the homestead. Things that we don't foresee yet. You see what I'm saying? So think about that. Closer to y'all ministries kicking it. Gun barrel straight. 